All right, now let's take a look at the same steps in different software. So we're going to set up the size of our job, material top, top center. Okay, we're going to go to here, import component. We're going to grab our model. Okay, we're going to center it. Position and import. I'm going to go to a front view, right? So how I normally do this is I just put everything up top and then import and that gives us our model. Now from here what I want to do is draw a square. All right, so that gives us a boundary to contain the toolpath. Uh, the other thing I want to do too is I want to make it less tall. So I'm going to select it, and I'll use this button here. So now I can turn down how tall it is or how high the embossment is. I'll say OK to that. All right, so that adjusted my design, and we now have a boundary to contain with. So we're going to go over to here. We're going to do this. This is looking at the stock geometry and telling you information about the setup. I'm going to say OK. From here, we're going to select our tool, right? So I'm going to use an eighth inch ball mill. All right, I'm going to pick on this boundary selected vector. This is a raster style. Let's go ahead and calculate. All right, so this does like some, some cleanup stuff. Uh, so it's going in and cleaning up the valleys, but I'm going to end up uh, just deleting those. Like this, all this extra motion here, I'm going to delete it. Uh, delete this. Okay, so now we have this. This is our finished toolpath to work its way back and forth. Go ahead and press play. You can see what the tool's going to do. Alright, that's what we're looking at right there.